I should be down helping Alan milk cows, but right now I'm in bed with a much younger man. Hey, handsome. All right, good morning everybody. It is January 21st, about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's about six degrees out right now. And I got a lot of tasks to do today. Um, I gotta put hay out for the cows, work on the silo. Um, one thing I do need to do first though, we got about seven inches of snow the other day with about a 20 mile an hour wind. And my road that I had plowed out to get firewood is pretty badly drifted in, so we're gonna take the old 4400 gale skid loader here that I got fired up and see if we can plow out to the woods. If that doesn't work, if it's too deep, I'm gonna have to dig out my big uh, three-point hitch snow blower that goes on the back of the tractor and try to plow it out. But that's drifted in also, so we're gonna try this first and see how this works. Okay, I made it out here. Um, I've plowed a little ways uh, where it wasn't drifted. It plowed pretty nice. It was six, seven inches deep. That didn't go too bad. Uh, but what the trouble is, is across this big field is where the wind blows. And then I get to this spot here, and then it's kind of hard to tell, but it's drifted probably a couple feet deep in places here. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm running this on my phone and trying to run the skid steer, so I don't know if I'll be able to get any footage of me plowing or not, but I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. heavy spot now I'm just into some thinner stuff here the recording while I was plowing didn't work really well but we'll try it now in this thinner snow Okay, we made it all the way out here to the woods. This is kind of the area where I've been cutting firewood in. Um, got out here, got some spots cleared out, so later today I'm hoping to get out here and cut some cut some firewood down and bring home. Um, so now we're gonna head back home. I gotta get the tractor started and get some hay out for the milk cows and I think probably the dry cows and get that taken care of so they can go outside so we can clean barn later. Okay, I'm just heading back home now. and This is the spot here where it was drifted really deep. Um, I don't know if you can see or not. I'm going to drive through here and record some and see if you can kind of tell how deep it, it was through here. I'm going to get off here and see if I can get a better picture. You can see it's well over the skid steer tires on the side of the skid steer there, so it's, you know, it's over, yeah, it's, it's pretty deep. It's about close to three feet, I would say. Okay, we're over here at the hay shed now. We're going to start this tractor to feed some hay. Um, we have two loader tractors here. They're both case. This one is a 530 case. Um, it originally was a diesel. We put a gas engine in it a few years ago. Our other one is an 830 case. That is a diesel, so I typically don't use that in the winter just because it's hard starting. This tractor um, is not my favorite by any means. It uh, has quite a few issues. It uses a lot of oil, hydraulic oil, engine oil, 
Um, it has gotten a little better. I put a heavier front end in it about a year ago. Um, that made things better, but one thing I will say about this tractor in its favor, it will start at about any temperature. Um, as long as the battery is up good on it, um, it seems to start fantastic, warm or cold out. Um, so we'll give it a try here and see if it makes a liar out of me. <laughs> It fired right up just like it usually does, so I do have to give it credit for that. And one thing I do in the winter time um, on pretty much all of our equipment, it is older equipment, I don't know that I'd recommend it on new stuff, but for the hydraulic fluid in the winter I use automatic transmission fluid and it really seems to help the hydraulics work a lot better when it's really cold out. This hay that we're feeding now, this is the baleage that I talked about in one of our other videos. And this hay is baled at a higher moisture, it's not dry, and then it's wrapped in this plastic, kind of like a shrink wrap, um, and then it's allowed to ferment in the bale. It makes nice feed and it's kind of nice for feeding in the winter time because the plastic keeps the toins underneath that hold the bale together from freezing down. it at a higher moisture like that also helps you from losing any leaves when hay gets really dry it can tend to lose a lot of its leaves in the in the baling process so this just keeps makes a little bit higher quality that way
Sweet Dapper.
How many more days till spring? I lost count. Like a bajillion? <laughs> Okay, we're up in the silo here now. Um, I'm gonna change a door on this. You can see it's way up, it's about three or four doors up. Okay, we have the door changed now. Um. Okay, we're going to run the unloader now. Um, as you can, I was up here and, and cleaned the walls similar to what I did the other day. I didn't quite finish this side yet. It's pretty froze. It's supposed to be a lot warmer tomorrow, so I'm going to come and finish that. But I'm going to have her turn it on now, and we'll see how this thing runs. And I'm also going to mention, my I didn't mention this on my previous video when we were up here, but the way this lowers down, um, there's a cable here that it's hooked to that goes all the way up to the peak, uh, if you can see it there, to the tripod and back down the outside to a winch. Um, and then as, as it, it goes down, you just lower that winch and it lets the unloader down. And then when the silo is empty, you just fold this thing up and then you winch it all the way back up to the top to fill it. They're waiting to be milked.